To understand the concepts covered in this tutorial, you will need just a basic knowledge of Microsoft Excel. To make use of the material covered in this tutorial, you will need access to Microsoft Excel. Here are the learning objectives which we will cover. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to discuss the reasoning behind different graph type choices, demonstrate the basic steps in creating a simple graph in Excel, and use some more of the advanced options for changing the look and feel of your graphs. First, let's discuss how to choose a graph type. Using Excel, it's possible to make a wide variety of graph types. Here we see two of the more common types, the pie chart and the column graph. And here we see one of the less common graph types that you can make with Excel, the radar plot. Please note that the information graphed on this plot is actually the same as was graphed on the previous slide, showing you that there's a wide variety of ways to graph the same set of data. There are many ways to decide what type of graph to use. The one that I like is from this book. In this book, the author suggests choosing your graph type based on the kind of relationships that you want to highlight within your data, and not based on the data itself. Ultimately, though, the graph type that you go with is just a personal choice. Let's look at a few examples from the book. The first is called the component comparison. This is defined as comparing the size of individual elements relative to the whole. In the book, it's suggested that for this type of comparison, you use a pie chart. As you can see in this example, a pie chart highlights the relative contribution of each element to the whole. The next type of comparison that we'll look at is the item comparison. This simply means ranking items, in this example from highest to lowest. For this type of comparison, the book suggests using a bar chart. A third type of comparison is a time series comparison. This is defined as highlighting the change in value over time. The book suggests using a column chart or line chart. The ideas discussed in this book represent one system for helping you to choose your graph type. Ultimately, however, you will need to choose the graph type that best helps you to get your point across. Now let's go into Microsoft Excel and see how to make a simple graph. For the remainder of this tutorial, I'll be using the data in this spreadsheet to create my graphs. This spreadsheet represents a simple household budget, showing how much I spent each month on these expense items. First, I need to select the data that I want to graph. For this example, I want to show how my electric bill changed from month to month. So what I'm going to have to do is first highlight all the cells containing my monthly electricity expenditures. Next, I'm going to go up to the Insert tab, and here's where I choose what type of graph I want to make. There's a variety of different types, column, pie, line, but for this example, I'm going to do a column graph. There are a variety of different types of column graphs, but I'll just do a simple 2D column graph. You'll notice when the graph is highlighted, there are several tabs at the top. These are the Chart Tools tabs. If I click on the spreadsheet, they disappear, but when I highlight the graph again, they come back. First, I'm going to click on the Design tab. One thing that I want to change is the horizontal axis of my chart, which has 1 through 12. What I'd like to have in place of that are the months of the year. To change that, I'm going to click on Select Data, and under the horizontal axis label here, I'm going to click Edit, and it's asking me what do I want to put in place of the 1 through 12. So I'm going to highlight the months. So I press OK, then OK again, 
and now you see my horizontal axis features the months of the year. Another thing I can do is to change the chart layout. So you'll see I have a number of options here. Let's take a look at one of these. So on this one you'll notice there's no y-axis and the values are put on top of each of the bars. Another type I can do is this one, which puts the y-axis back and gives me a chart title. The first thing I'm going to do is delete the Series 1 indicator here, because I'm only comparing one item, which is electricity. And now I will change the title to Electricity Usage, and my simple graph is finished. Now let's make a different type of chart. For this one, I'm going to make a pie chart showing my January expenses. So first I have to highlight the data, which will be the January expense items. Go up to Insert, and this time I'm going to choose Pie Chart. Again, there are a number of options, but I'm going to go with the simple 2D pie chart. Now what I'd like to do is take these expense item names and put them here in place of these numbers. To accomplish that, I'm going to go back up to Select Data, and even though it's not technically a horizontal axis, that really doesn't make sense in the case of a pie chart, I would still click Edit here, and then I will highlight the expense item names, press OK, OK again, and you can see that it replaced the numbers with the expense item names. Again, there are different chart layouts here. I'll select a couple different ones. I'll settle on this one, and I can change the chart title. And now this graph is completed as well. Next, let's look at some more ways of changing the look of your graph. For this, I'm going to go back to this first graph that I made, showing my electricity usage from month to month. I'm going to go up here to Chart Tools, and this time I'm going to choose the Layout tab. Specifically, I'm going to choose grid lines, vertical grid lines, and major grid lines. Next, I'll select axis titles, horizontal title, and title below axis. You can see this allows me to write the word months. I can also do axis title, vertical title, and this allows me to type the word cost. Besides the chart tools, I can go back to the home button and increase the font size. As you become more proficient making graphs, take some time to explore the different layout options within the chart tools menu. Next, let's review the learning objectives covered in this tutorial. First, we looked at some of the different reasons why you might choose different types of graphs. Then we demonstrated the steps in creating a simple graph. And then we looked at some of the more advanced options for changing the look of your graph. If you need more help with Excel, click here to find further links to other resources as well as an assignment which will help you to practice the skills that were covered in this tutorial. You can also set up an in-person or online consultation with this tutorial's author, and you can also look at the Skillport modules which are available through your MyGW account.